South Korea, population of 51 million people, has accomplished on introducing the culture to the world and through K-pop, K-beauty, K-food, our culture has influenced many lives in the world and taught people how to enjoy lives in our ways. And this, this is about beer. Something that's globally connected and what we all enjoy in life. No differences in our background. K-beer. This is Beer Tour in Seoul. Hello and welcome to Beer Tour in Seoul. My name is Jonathan and I will be introducing to you about a variety of Korean beer. The reason I'm doing this is because uh, South Korea is well known for K-pop, K-beauty, and K-fashion, K-drama, and etc. And I thought it's about time somebody stood up and introduced you guys about Korean beer. So the Korean beer that I uh, got today for you today is Kas. Kas is one of the oldest beer that has existed in South Korean history. And a lot of people say that it's similar to a carbonated water and uh, it's quite a big difference is there when you compare a beer from Western culture. So I will be tasting uh, Kos and we'll describe to you how it exactly tastes like. So first, uh, let me show you the color of the beer. Well, as you can see, as I pour the beer in the glass, uh, there's a lot of bubbles going on. A lot of carbonation and the color is pale goldish, I'd say. And there is a, a measurement for the color for specifically for the beer, and it's called the SRM. And I would say the, this color would be somewhere around three and four. So if you guys are curious what that is, search on Google, uh, beer color SRM, and take a look at number three and four. And that's the color that I see with my naked eyes. Now for the taste. Um, like I said, it's a very, very light beer, a lot of carbonation, and one of the ingredients that involves in manufacturing beer or making the beer in process, uh, they put hops, hops in it, and it's a very uh, how would you say it? Uh, very plant uh, the smell. There's a specific, a unique uh, odor that comes off from the hop. And I see no profile whatsoever in this beer. And it's already, uh, it was already mentioned that uh, a lot of people were uh, comparing this beer as to similar to the taste of the carbonated water. And I, I agree. I agree. And it's a very light beer. Uh, it's a very light beer. Uh, I think everybody can enjoy this. Uh, I personally don't like that uh, unique odor from the hop. If there's someone who agrees with my terms, um, if you don't like the hops, then I say uh, Kas is one of the beer that you can enjoy very lightly. And it's very smooth too. And in South Korea, uh, finding the right type of food that goes along with a specific beer is it became some sort of trend. So, a lot of Korean foods tend to be spicy for foreigners, specifically from Western culture. And, you know, that sense of hot, hotness going on in your mouth. And a beer is some sort of a kind of source that washes off that spiciness right away. And that's that's how 
the beer in Korea is mostly tastes like a lot of carbonation and smooth at the same time so that people can enjoy spicy food and quickly wash off. Okay, so if you're familiar with K-pop, uh, you should know the, uh, the idol who goes by the name Pop from Big Bang was also a model for Kaz. And not too long ago, a couple years back, Gordon Ramsay made a visit to South Korea and had a taste of Kaz for himself. And he was he was a model for Kaz for a couple of years from since then. And he liked it. I believe his review on Kaz was uh, pleasant. So you know, a Michelin chef Gordon Ramsay gives a fine review on Kaz, and I believe that everybody can try it as well everybody else too. So don't be shy on trying new things because it's a foreign beer. It's, beer has a long back of history. So don't be shy on trying new things. Um, well, for example, if you're having a party and your party platter involves with a lot of uh, deep fried or tempura from Japanese cuisine or whatever, and you have that all combination of oily food, then I'd say that highly carbonated beer is the best match to provide to your guests. And I recommend Kas because um, personally I think Kas is one of the best carbonated beer out there. Thank you! So, in the end, overall I'll give, I will give 4 out of 5 because um, uh, because, well, I like bison beer. Bison beer, you can smell full of banana as soon as you open that lid. And that specific bananas, uh, this, these odors are the outcomes of a yeast fermentation. And this is just a general, general standard beer that's highly carbonated. Cas, I'd say that Kas is unique in a way that is highly carbonated, but other than that, I think it lacks everything else. And it has a minimal taste of those uh, flavors from the malt. Go and try this beer and leave your own personal review on this Kas as a comment below. And, and please subscribe and like my video and I will come back with more interesting Korean beer. And this, this was Beer Tour in Seoul. Bye.